In a recent update to the Wahoo Element range of head units, the Element, the Bolt and the Rome all now have support for the specialized Angie crash sensor. Now backing up a little bit, the Angie sensor was originally iced off. Specialized purchased this technology a while back and made this look a lot better than that. You have to agree. Inside the Angie unit is a three axis accelerometer measuring X, Y, Z at all times. And if things come to a stop very quickly, then alerts will be sent out. Now previously to take advantage of this sensor, you had to use the mobile phone app on here to start your ride, stop your ride, or in the event of a false positive, stop that false positive being sent out to your friends or loved ones. It was a little clunky having to pull this out of your back pocket at all times. This new Wahoo integration makes the process a lot better. So what you'll need for all of this, obviously a specialized Angie equipped helmet here with the sensor already installed, or you can pick up the sensor and put it on a third party helmet. They sell them separately as well. You'll need the specialized ride app loaded and configured on your phone. And obviously you'll need yourself one of these Wahoo head units, the Element, Bolt or the Roam. Now onto how this all works and is configured. First up on paper, it looks a little complex, but once it's configured and up and running, it is straightforward. So to get this thing up and running, what you need to do is connect the Angie sensor on the helmet to the app, the app then to your head unit, and the head unit just becomes a remote control. When you start a ride on your head unit, the app will kick in and start monitoring things. When you stop a ride on your head unit, the app will stop and obviously not monitor things and send out alerts. And just as importantly as starting and stopping, you can cancel any false positives from the head unit. So if I was riding along, come to a sudden stop and was very, very still, and the unit thought that I had a crash, it will pop up on the head unit here where I can cancel out that false alert. So the catches with this setup, well, first of all, you need to be within cell or mobile phone range for the alerts to be sent out. You need to have signal to alert people that you're in distress or not moving at all. Secondly, you need to have the ride app running on your phone. That is the special glue between your head unit and the sensor. And it's also what sends out those alerts. The Wahoo units will tell you on screen if the app isn't running or the sensor is disconnected. So you know if it's not monitoring your movements. It's worth noting that crash detection sensors aren't new technology. They've been around for a few years, just now that we're seeing them become a little easier to use, as you've seen here with the head unit integration. Garmin, on the other hand, use the accelerometers on their head units for the same kind of functionality. However, that's monitoring effectively your bike when that's clipped in. So if your bike falls over at the cafe, you will get an alert. And mountain bikers often say that after pulling a sick jump, the crash detection sensor will go off and they'll have to hit stop on that. So there's probably for or against where to monitor things. And I'm sure Specialized and Wahoo will say the person's probably the better place. Okay, so there we are, an overview of the Wahoo integration with the Specialized Angie sensor. A lot less clunky than having to pull the mobile out for starting, stopping, and canceling any false positive. I'm interested to see if Garmin will do any integration in the near future because it's definitely what was lacking for the Angie sensor when it first came out. Alrighty, thanks for watching this one. Remember to hit thumbs up if you like this video and hit subscribe to support this channel. We'll see you soon.